In this tutorial, we will go through the process of creating an FBA inbound shipment to ship items to an Amazon Fulfillment Center. If you have shipped items to FBA through Seller Central, you are familiar with shipment plans and managing the actual shipments. The entire process can and should be managed within Seller Cloud to ensure that inventory is transferred accurately from your regular warehouse to the FBA warehouse. Before creating a shipment, you'll need to configure Seller Cloud to allow and to optimize FBA inbound shipments. Please watch the Configuring Seller Cloud for FBA Inbound Shipments video tutorial for more information on how to set up your Seller Cloud account optimally for FBA. Open the Inventory tab and select FBA Inbound Shipments from the menu. On the following page, click Create New Shipment. If you have multiple companies, Select from the dropdown the company from which the inventory is being shipped. You can also enter a description for reference. Press Continue. Now let's add items to the shipment. Click on Add Items above the grid to open the product search window. Enter a SKU and click Search. To search for multiple SKUs, click on the Show Hide text box to paste SKU link. Enter the list of SKUs into the box and press Search. Select the items you want to add and enter the quantity you will be shipping to FBA. Quantity can be added or adjusted after the product is added to the shipment as well. The products you are adding must be from the same company under which you created the FBA inbound shipment. Press the Add Products button. You can then search for and add more items to the shipment. When you have all the products that you need, press the Finished Close Window button. The FBA inbound shipment will refresh with all the selected products in the product grid. Once a product is added to the shipment, its inventory on the shipment will be reserved and become unavailable for sale. The product FN SKU will display in the FN SKU column on the grid. If there are products in the shipment that do not yet have their FN SKU, open the Action menu and click Edit. Then select the products and select the action Get FN SKU from the menu. The product shipping weight and dimensions also need to be known to FBA before the shipment can be previewed. If the product was posted to Amazon without the weight and dimensions, you can add them from within the shipment. Press on the small box next to the product ID. A dimensions window will pop open. After entering the weight and dimensions, press the Save and Update Amazon button. You can also update Amazon from the Edit screen by selecting the action Revise Dimensions and Weight on Amazon. It is recommended that you get prep guidance from Amazon. Prep guidance is a set of instructions sent from Amazon on how to properly prepare your products. Preparations can include labeling, packaging, and wrapping instructions. Items that are not properly prepared may be rejected by Amazon or be subject to extra fees. Prep guidance must first be enabled in the client settings by checking the setting Enable FBA Prepare Guidance. Then, on the FBA inbound shipment, open the Action menu and select Get Prepare Instructions. The prep guidance and instructions will display next to the products in the grid. Under Label Prep Preference, select an option to inform Amazon who will be labeling the items. The default option is Seller Label, which means that you will be labeling the items. If an item is received by Amazon not properly labeled, it may be rejected, or Amazon may subject you to additional fees. The Amazon Label Only option lets Amazon know that they should label the item. The third option is Amazon Labeled Preferred, which instructs Amazon to label any item that you have not labeled. Label Prep Preference is only relevant if the item requires a label. If the item is eligible for commingling, then no labeling is required. After previewing the item, Amazon will let you know if the item requires labeling, as we'll see in a minute. Select Preview from the Action menu. Previewing the shipment sends the shipment information to Amazon for Amazon's review. 
Amazon will return the following information. The Amazon shipment ID, Amazon's internal code for the fulfillment center where the shipment will be shipped, the address of the fulfillment center, and the status, which is the current step in the process of the FBA shipment. At this point, the status should show as previewed. Amazon will often break up your FBA inbound shipments into multiple shipments and send the items to multiple fulfillment centers across the country. If you want to be able to ship to one warehouse only, you need to change a setting on Amazon. Go to your Seller Central account, open the Settings dropdown, and select Fulfillment by Amazon. Locate the Inbound Settings section and press the Edit button. Change the inbound settings from Distributed Inventory Placement, which is the default setting, to Inventory Placement Service. Be advised that there is a fee for this option. Amazon will also tell you if the item needs to be labeled and what type of label is required. There are several types of labels. The first is Merchant Label, which means that you have to put a product label onto the product. No Label means that no labeling is required. This may apply when the item you are shipping is eligible for commingling and you have allowed commingling on your account. The third is the Amazon label. This label type will display if you have signed up under the MWS label service to have Amazon label the items. And the fourth is FC prep. This is a special label that indicates that the product requires extra handling time at the FBA fulfillment center. If you are printing out labels, Open the Action menu and select Print Product Labels. To learn more about printing labels, please watch the FBA Product Labels video tutorial. Now select the shipments that you are ready to send to Amazon. Open the Action menu, select Set Status to Working, and hit Go. Setting the status to working must be done within 48 hours of previewing the shipment. After the status has been updated, you can prepare the actual shipping boxes. Select Manage Shipping Boxes from the Action menu. Now choose a shipment from the drop-down. On the following page, you can prepare the shipment. Select the type of shipping you will be using. Use Small Package if you are sending the shipment in regular packages. Use Less Than Truckload if you are shipping a pallet or full truckload if you are sending a full truckload of goods. Now enter the dimensions and weight on the box. You can also load default dimensions by selecting a default from the dropdown on the right. Default shipping boxes can be set up on the Manage FBA Shipments page. Click on the Shipment Box Defaults. Complete the default box profile and press Add New Default. If the shipment needs multiple boxes, you can add a new box with this button here, or copy the box by clicking on the Copy Box icon here. After completing all boxes in the shipment, press Update. Now you need to print the shipping labels. From the Action menu, select Request Shipping Estimate. Then select Get Shipping Estimate. Amazon will return a shipping price. If you are satisfied with the estimate, click Confirm Shipping Estimate. Otherwise, click Void Estimate. Amazon will return a tracking number that will automatically be placed into the tracking field on the shipping box row. When there are multiple boxes, each box will be returned with its own tracking number. The shipping estimate process is broken up to allow Seller Central enough time to generate a valid label. Lastly, select Print Shipping Labels from the Action menu. A PDF file will be generated with the FBA shipping label. If you have multiple shipments, select another shipment from the package dropdown and repeat the process. The last step in the process is to mark the shipment with a shipped status. Open the Action menu and select Ship Boxes. On the following page, select a From Warehouse and an Interim Warehouse. A default Interim Warehouse can be selected in the Client Settings. Select the boxes you are ready to ship. Click Ship Items to complete the process. 
the physical inventory will transfer from the regular warehouse into the unsellable interim warehouse. After the shipment arrives at the fulfillment center, Amazon will begin to receive the items. The FBA inbound shipment will then automatically update with the status of receiving. Quantities received will be displayed on the FBA shipment under the column Received Quantity. Units available for sale will then transfer from the in-transit warehouse to the FBA warehouse. Sometimes, Amazon will transfer inventory from one warehouse to another, which can delay the item's availability. Partially received shipments can be displayed by going to the Manage FBA page and clicking on the Partially Received Shipments tab. The No Confirmation Shipments tab will display the shipments that have not been received at all. Shipments that are fully received will update to a status of closed. For more information about FBA inbound shipments, please visit wiki.southercloud.com.